history is littered with the shattered remains of toppled statues, toppled by nature and the passing of time. Toppled by civil uprisings and revolts. Today, memorials have been desecrated and toppled. This statue of a Confederate soldier was toppled by protesters at the University of North Carolina. It has yet to make its way back to the campus because of, and I quote, safety concerns as cited by the chair of the Uni Board of Trustees. Fair enough, I say. I would certainly hate this statue to fall on me. This fervour of political correctness and the toppling of memorial statues had me thinking. What about if now, from this point on, for all of those statues that fall out of favour, for those that are toppled in this current wave of moral outrage, why not anchor the remains, secure the remnants and leave them in their new toppled state? Leave them be. Memorialize their fall. Have a look at the following images. These toppled memorials certainly have a beauty and poignancy about them. Don't cart them away, leave them fallen, let the scattered fragments be. It could be argued that aesthetically some of the statues look better now in this their new toppled state than they did before. The climate of outrage has created a new iconoclasm. It has inadvertently given rise to a postmodern aesthetic of image breaking, of prostrating old memorials to a new order. That order, indignation, outrage. It is one of disdain that manifests itself in exclamations of cultural imperialism, oppression, racism, sexism, misogyny, white male privilege, microaggression, homophobia, transphobia, and the list goes on. The Kaiser Wilhelm Memorial Church was badly damaged in a bombing raid in 1943. The ruined tower is now a famous landmark in Western Berlin. Public outcry prevented it from being torn down. It is now an ever-present reminder of World War II. Hungarians could have left what remains of this tank in the streets of Budapest as an ever-present reminder of the 1956 uprising against the communist regime. This vandalised Boer War Memorial in Port Elizabeth should remain as is, sadly reflecting the climate, tragedy and dilemma that South Africa now faces. With the fall of the USSR, thousands of Soviet statues were destroyed or dispersed. 
many were relocated to this, the Fallen Monument Park in Moscow, now a graveyard of Soviet-era statues. After the fall of the communist regime in Hungary in 1989, many of the communist statues and monuments were immediately removed. Many found their way to and are now on display at Memento Park in Budapest. We in the West should not consign our toppled statues to a graveyard like they have in Hungary and Russia. No, leave them where they fall. Let them stay where they are toppled. That way they will be an ever-present reminder of a culture, a culture at war with itself and its past.